Hey YouTube, ready to see some shrimp? Let's take a quick tour. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, just coming at you today with an update on all my shrimp tanks. Um, I told you in my last full fish room video that I would do a separate video on my shrimp tanks coming up, so I wanted to do that real quick. Um, some changes, um, some things happening, some good things, uh, things like that. So uh, we'll, we'll start over here with a uh, crystal red tank. This is um, my lower grade A through S. These things are still breeding like crazy. Um, it's been a few months since I've uh, offered any of these up for sale, so um, I'm ready to sell some juvies here. If anyone's interested, hit me up. But they're doing real good. Um, you can see in the tank some of the plants and everything are doing real good too. I've got this red moss that's finally taken off. Um, and uh, still have a little bit of mini Christmas moss and some, some wasser tang in there and then back there. Kind of hard to see behind the rock, but there's some mini pellia as well. And then just some crypts in the back, but these guys are doing great. Um, just love watching them real fun and like I say they breed like crazy seems like every time I look in there I see some new babies or uh, see a buried female so that's really cool um, next door we've got uh, the crystal black I'm not sure if I had these when I did my last video but um, here they are they are SS to SSS grade coming along real good um, I did notice uh, recently two buried females. Um, not sure if I can find them right now. Uh, this back there, that might be one of them. I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell right now. But um, really digging these guys. Looking forward to seeing them multiply. And, uh, you know. Um, I've got in this tank uh, a little bit of uh, mini pellia, some anchor moss, um, and then a little bit of subwasser tang. So yeah, they're doing real good. Uh, next door, my newest um, shrimp are the SS to SSS grade Crystal Reds, uh, recently picked up. I had some before and they all died off except for about three of them. I had a Hydra outbreak. And uh, so I, I just recently got in like 20 more, and uh, they seem to be doing good so far. Um, they're all eating right now, as you can see. But uh, again, enjoy watching these as well, and looking forward to seeing them breed. Uh, in this tank, uh, I've got some uh, flame moss right here, and some uh, Fissidens fontanus. And there's a little bit of rickia you can see on this glob of fissidens that's kind of mixed itself in. I gotta pull that out. Um, but yeah, uh, everything's going good there. Um, and then next door, the red really tank. Got a lot of red reallys in there. I recently picked up a ton of them. Um, they like to hide, um, and with all this java moss in here, it's always kind of hard to always see them so what I'm going to be doing is yanking all that java and uh, just putting in a couple clumps of smaller or of moss that kind of stays more compact within itself maybe some mini christmas or some flame or some mini pellia something like that but the red reallys are doing great um, Next door here is the double stand that I've got. This tank above doesn't have anything in it yet, but it is recently cycled, so I'll be looking soon to uh, pick some shrimp up for that tank. Down below is where I moved my carbon reallys to, and they are right here. I lost a lot of them from the hydra outbreak I had. Recently picked up a few more. Um, so I'm hoping that this uh, colony will start to grow but they're looking good um, again they're eating as well right now got some Christmas and mini Christmas moss in here some mini pellia and some peacock moss 
So, um, if anybody's looking for moss too, hit me up. I can uh, spare some smaller portions, golf ball size and stuff like that. Um, I usually uh, let it go at pretty reasonable prices too, so let me know. And then we'll go upstairs uh, to the last three tanks that are in my office. Alright, so the first tank up here is the five gallon um, blue pearl tank. You can see they're going to town on some food right now. Got a little bit of a snail outbreak in here, so I'm going to have to work on getting that handled here soon. But um, these guys I've got enough where I can let some go to if anybody's interested in, in, in buying some of those. They seem to breed pretty regularly. Not as quickly as I'd like, but um, you know, they do good, so. And then um, down here are the yellow neos. I haven't seen a ton of breeding in here, although there have been some. I mean, I can see a couple babies right now. Um, I need to clear out a lot of this uh, um, vegetation in this tank too, just so I can see shrimp more often. You know, it's amazing. A lot of times um, you think you don't have many shrimp in there and then you start clearing out plants and moss and a lot of shrimp come out of hiding, which is what happened over at the next tank I'm going to show you with my red cherry tank. But these guys, you know, they're, they're decent. I, I wish, I'd hope by now that I would have bred a lot better, uh, bigger of a colony, but you know, it is what it is. Let's just keep working on it. And then over here is the tank I was talking about, the red cherry tank. Um, sorry about all the gunk on the glass there, but this tank was kind of overgrown with plants and moss and stuff before. And I thought I only had like five to 10 shrimp left. So I was basically getting ready to take down this tank. I took all, I started taking out all the plants. I was gonna take out all the shrimp and just throw them in with my low grade CRS and then start over with a different type of shrimp in here. But um, as I started getting rid of plants and fishing, fishing uh, or netting shrimp out, I ended up finding that I had, you know, over 30 in here. So they're not all out right now, but you know, I'm hoping um, to grow this colony. They, they, there has been some breeding because you can see that there are some smaller shrimp in here. But, um, so I think I'll continue to try to see what happens with the red cherries. They're a good shrimp that um, are fun to watch, even though they're not, you know, like a high grade, high end type of shrimp. And I may um, get maybe another five gallon to put these guys in and then grow something, maybe uh, some, you know, try to get something else going in here that's a little bit more higher end on the shrimp shrimp scale but we'll see um, but that's really about all I got right now um, make sure that you um, when you watch my videos that you uh, subscribe to all the members of team aquatic support as well uh, their YouTube channel links are always below and make sure you go over to aquatic support community on Facebook and join that group and make sure you go like the aquatic support community business page as well I appreciate you guys watching. I'm grateful for all you that subscribe to my videos. I just can't uh, get over that I'm over 5,000 subscribers now. And I just hope that this continues to grow and that we can have fun together. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.